Right now, the Ukrainian armed forces, consisting of about 500 people, are trying to break through in the area of Nekotayevka and the Shebakino checkpoint in the Belgorod region. The Ukrainian armed forces are trying to break through the border of the Belgorod region, the situation is difficult but under control, Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov said. According to Russian information, there is a battle going on near Nekotayevka, there, Ukrainian soldiers in several infantry fighting vehicles, numbering up to 200 people, landed at positions near the state border and tried to cross it, ours immediately covered them with artillery, after which the battle began. At the same time, about 300 Ukrainian armed forces soldiers went to the Shebakino checkpoint. There is a battle going on there now. Our border guards fought back, then helicopters arrived and fired at the enemy group. Today is exactly three weeks since the Ukrainian soldiers invaded the Kursk region. In the Belgorod region, the militants used the same tactics as in early August. Another Russian channel, shot, claimed that Ukrainian forces had been pushed back from Nekotayevka after suffering losses and claimed that no clashes had taken place at Shebakino. There have been multiple signs that Ukraine's incursion into Kursk Oblast is spilling over to Belgorod Oblast. A unit of the Ukrainian 252nd Battalion appeared to have entered the village of Poraz on August 10. Russia also claimed that Ukraine unsuccessfully attacked the Kalatilovka border checkpoint on August 12. Previously, Shebakino became a key flashpoint during a cross-border incursion carried out last year by anti-Kremlin militias fighting on Ukraine's side. Belgorod Oblast is lodged between Russia's Kursk and Voronezh regions and borders Ukraine's Sumy, Kharkiv, and Luhansk Oblasts. The U.S. does not want to give Ukraine permission to strike its long-range weapons on Russian territory in the hope of resetting its relations with Moscow in the future. Political rights, citing sources. The White House and the Pentagon claim that Ukraine has the potential to win without this, the publication's source said. Part of the discussions concerns allowing British storm shadow missiles already in the Ukrainian arsenal to strike Russian airfields and supply depots inside Russia. Because the missiles contain American components, the Biden administration would have to agree to their use. The British government has not yet made a formal request, though it is conducting an internal review and the Biden administration is aware of the issue, according to officials on both sides of the Atlantic. One White House official said that using Storm Shadow or ATACMS against Russia may not be as effective as advertised. In addition, the Ukrainian military has a limited supply of such missiles and those it does have may not reach critical Russian targets that are already out of their range. 90% of the aircraft that launch glide bombs from Russian airspace at Ukrainian civilian infrastructure are already beyond the range of those missiles, a senior U.S. administration official told the publication. In response to the Ukrainians' request, the White House said the United States would eventually want to reset relations with Moscow and lifting restrictions on long-range strikes could undermine those efforts. Some in the upper echelons of Biden's national security apparatus believe Kyiv may be launching a public campaign to hedge against any potential significant loss of ground in Ukraine in the coming months, according to one person familiar with internal conversations between Washington and Kyiv. Ukrainians say they need more freedom of action and remain optimistic they can achieve it. There are some signs now that Biden might want to do something big in Ukraine, maybe lift some restrictions before the election, now that he's not running, said one senior Ukrainian advisor. The US already allows the use of its long-range missiles on Russian territory, but only for defensive purposes as counter-battery fire to hit Russian missile launchers just across the border firing at Ukraine. Our policy is to allow Ukraine to conduct counterfire to defend against Russian attacks coming through that border region, and that border region includes Kursk and includes Sumy. Pentagon spokeswoman Sabrina Singh told reporters in Russia, Ukrainians fighting in Russia are already using the American high-mobility artillery rocket systems to hit bridges, supply depots and Russian units using precision-guided munitions with the blessing of the United States.